It's not every day young people get to speak to an astronaut on the International Space Station. But at Sandringham School, that's exactly what's happening. Pupils will get the opportunity to talk to Tim Peake about his mission in space, using special equipment to link up with him live. And to celebrate, we are holding a space festival. That's why I've got a rocket in our car park. Everyone around our school is buzzing. Even our lessons have been given a special space theme. People have been cooking space food. We're making foods which are suitable for astronauts to eat in space. Launching rockets. <laughs> and building a model of the International Space Station. It's amazing that we're the first um, school to talk to Tim Peake. I'm really excited. A head teacher, Mr Gray, thinks this will inspire us. Why did you choose for us to be one of the first schools to link up with Tim Peake? Well, it's a way of inspiring young people into science and technology, seeing the opportunities that might be available to them. And what you're finding is that they're seeing that uh, space has an awful lot to offer. It's not just about talking to Tim Peake uh, on the space station. There are many other things that I think are useful for young people and will help with their learning. One of the students who has a really important role is Jessica. I am station controller, which means I'll be making the first contact with Tim Peake um, and introducing him to Sandringham School. I prepared by taking a, a radio exam, which was a new skill. So I'm now a licensed radio operator at a foundation level. And I had to fit a few weeks course into a few days, which was hard work, but I passed, which was fantastic. I'm very excited, but also I think I'm very nervous because it's, it's, a, it's a big thing. But hopefully, I think I'll be more excited than nervous on the day. Our whole school is really excited to hear from Tim Peake. This is Sandcombe School reporting for BBC News School Report. <laughs>